so a lot of what I want to do is I don't do I do Christian comedy, but not Christian comedy, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I don't do like VeggieTales jokes, and mm. I don't go up and be like, you know, communion's weird. Um, <laughs> because, <laughs> well, and the, and the main reason is because I, I just realized, because I was on staff at a church, and our whole vision was a safe place to find and follow Jesus, right? And so by doing that work at a church, I realized, because I would invite a lot of friends, um, and I would do work at Starbucks and I'm obviously a comedian. So a lot of my friends are comedians and I was always trying to get them to come to church with me. And I realized that no one was accepting that invite hmm. and it didn't matter how close I got to them. There was something, it wasn't, it wasn't that I wasn't good enough friends with them. You know what I'm talking about? Like right. Right. it's like a best friend. Or... It wouldn't matter how close I got to them. It, that wasn't the obstacle. The obstacle was that they just weren't going to step foot in a church. Hmm. And, and I am in the, I'm in the Bible belt, so I don't know how, well, I know how universal that is, but it's very common in the Bible belt that a lot of people grew up with pretty negative experiences in the church or, um, from a Christian in their life. And so it didn't matter how much I invested in a person. Um, if my goal was to get them to come to church, then I was just never going to reach that goal. And so, um, which at that, that wasn't my goal, but you know what I'm talking about? Like, right. I, I would have these friendships with people and I would say like, Hey, you know, I lead worship at this church and no pressure to come hang out. But if you got nothing else going Saturday night or Sunday morning, like come with me. And they were like, yeah, we can do lunch after. You're like, okay, oh. cool. I'll do And I'll do it. I'll hundred percent, you know, yeah. but they just weren't going to accept the invite to a church. And so I think a lot of churches are doing an event with the hope that they're going to draw people in. So a lot of churches will try to book a comedy show and they'll treat it like an outreach event. And they'll be like, well, if we can just get – this, is, I think this was really common in the 2000s too, is if, if we can make church cool, uh, if we can do the right giveaways, and if we can do like a big Christmas show, or if we could do whatever it is, then we can get people into the building, and mm-hmm. then they'll come back. Yeah, I mean, and, I saw Michael Jr. in a church. Right, right, right. And I do church shows, but right? But I'm sure the whole audience were people that were also there on Sunday morning. Right, 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 right. That's the thing is that the people who are going to come to a church are – people who are already comfortable with the idea of walking into a church. So my vision for what I want to do is I want to give, I want to create opportunities where where you can invite your friend to something where it's a clean show. um, So you can bring your whole family. um, But also you're going to have an opportunity to invite a friend who may not know the hope of Jesus. And I share my story in the show. I share that. Listen, like I almost took my life and I have the reason I laugh every day until my abs hurt and I know that right now you're like, what abs? Okay, not the point. Uh, <laughs> but, I have but, no room to judge, okay? <laughs> but the, the reason that I have joy and hope is, is because of Jesus. Um, and so I share that in my show. And so I want an opportunity to do that with people who are just not going to step into a church. Mm-hmm. So they might not accept the invite to a Sunday service. They might not. It, you could be given away a $10,000 huge IMAX TV to put in their house, you know, and still some people would go, I'm just not going to go there. So does that make you not partner with a church or does that make no. you find so, a different venue? So what I, what I would hope to do is cause I, cause the reason I want to partner with a local church is this, is that if I just rent a venue and go do a show, mm-hmm. then I go home the next day. So like I'll do the show and I'll talk about my story and I'll say, Hey, listen, if you resonate with that, Like, this is where I found hope. But what I would love to do is partner with churches. Let's have a venue that's not your church. Let's have a building outside of that so it's a common space. Because if you're inviting a friend to your church, they might not do that. But if you invite them to a a local theater or a place where comedy already happens, like they know that that's just a comedy show, then they're much more likely to accept that invite, right? And I would love to have a place to point those people who do come to my show. And I say, hey, if that resonates with you, if that's something that you're interested in, like, I'm going to go home tomorrow, but there's this community here who would love to talk with you. And they're out here in the lobby or they're out here outside. They're, they're you know, they would love to just introduce themselves and talk with you uh, and answer any questions you might have. Because I want to be able to set someone else up to not find a church home, right? But I want to help them find friends who will love them and care for them and nurture that faith. Hmm. Uh, and so I'm not looking to get them to your Sunday service. And would you be doing these shows like on a Saturday night and then you show up that next Sunday 
like the next I've done day, that. That next yeah. morning, I've gone and, and spoken at, at churches. Church. Mm-hmm. Well, and I mean, I wasn't even thinking speaking, just more of just like you're church. in the lobby, so that sure. when people come in, hey, that's Familiar the funny face. guy yeah. that we saw last night. We love. That's the reason why we came here. Yeah. And so you're you're almost like a, a greeter. Sure. It, it, yeah. Is that what your thought is? Or? I've done that before, um, but it, it, you know, if I'm doing I. I've done like a Friday night show and I just fly home on Saturday um, or I go on to the next city or do whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, my goal is I think a lot of church events can center on filling your building. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And I just become so uninterested in that. Like what I want to do is I want to connect people to the truth of Jesus. I am more interested in introducing people to Jesus and connecting them to people who will walk with them through that than I am of just introducing someone to the flow of church. Mm. Like, because, so, for wow, example, my my girlfriend, when we started dating, she was the kind of, she was in a spot where she's like, you know, I believe in a God, um, and I've heard about Jesus, and I pray, but I don't really know what that looks like. Now, what Reagan didn't need was okay great so the prescription for that is to go to one service a week and you know go in there listen to the message and then just reflect on that and you're gonna grow what she needed was friends what she needed was people who cared about her enough and would ask questions and get to know her more than just hey you know are you reading your bible every day are you going to are you serving at church hey y'all we hope you loved this conversation here at young married christian we are on a mission to see a gospel-centered home made available for every single child in the foster care system there are 400,000 kids in the foster care system and there are 400,000 churches in america wow that is crazy. This is absolutely a solvable problem, and we want to be a part of it. If you want to join us in that mission, text the word FREEDOM to 833-370-1610. 833-370-1610. 833-370-1610. And another thing you can do that is really helpful is to smash the like button on this video. Smash it like Satan's face. Crush it like it's Lucifer's head. <laughs> It really helps us a ton. So smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. That's it. (laughs) Smash the like button on this video.